Welcome to another lesson on Windows PowerShell 7. On our previous tutorial, I demo how to install PowerShell 7 on Windows 11. After the installation, you may have noticed the familiar PowerShell integrated scripting environment, also known as IAC, is missing support for PowerShell 7. How do we know this? If you go to our start menu and type IAC, you will have two options, the IAC for the x86 bit and the IAC for the 64 bit versions. Doesn't matter which one you pick, this is the same program. And if you open that IAC and on the command line right here, if you type the PS version command, dot, uh, PS version, you can see that this ISC support up to the PowerShell version 5. So it doesn't support PowerShell version 7. So how can we fix this? You can't add support for PowerShell version 7 onto this Windows PowerShell ISC because Microsoft has stopped creating the ISC for the PowerShell. So there is another way to get this familiar integrated scripting environment and I'm going to show you how you can do that. So let's close our Windows PowerShell ISC here and let's go to the Microsoft website. On the Microsoft website you will see on the bottom of this page they mentioned that the ISC is no longer supported. So in other words Microsoft is not going to create an integrated scripting environment for the PowerShell version 7. And right here, it says the improved editing experience with Visual Studio Code. So what Microsoft is giving us here is for PowerShell 7 is to use Visual Studio Code and the PowerShell extension to go with it. So let's go ahead and install that. So I'm gonna click on Visual Studio Code right here. and we will download the stable build for the Visual Studio Code. So once uh, that file has been downloaded, it's this file. What we will do, we will right click and we can run it as administrator. I'm going to accept the license agreement, click next. This is where the Visual Studio Code will be installed. Next, next. And here are some uh, additional uh, information and configurations that you can change. So I'm going to create a desktop icon. Um, you also can add the open with, uh, uh, you know, um, Visual Studio Code onto your context menus, which I always turn it on, but it's up to you to whether to decide to turn it on or off. And I'm going to click next and everything looks good. And I'm going to say install. So once this installation process has been completed, you can launch the Visual Studio Code directly from here by clicking finish here, or you can go in here and if you type, uh, you know, searching for Visual uh, Studio Code, uh, it should appear here as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna launch it right from here. And that give us the, uh, the Visual Studio Code uh, options. And in here, uh, at the very beginning, you can select the way that you would like to have the Visual Studio. I like the dark theme and I'm going to leave it as it is. Uh, and then this is pretty much uh, the program that we need. So this is the get started, uh, you know, tab and I'm going to close that tab. And the next thing we need to do to create PowerShell scripts in here with the PowerShell 7 is to add the PowerShell 7 support. So which is a additional module that we need to add it to this. To do that, I'm gonna click on this. this. This is actually called extensions. 
And in here, and at the top of the extension search, I'm gonna type PowerShell. And the very first one shows up, it is from the Microsoft. And you know it is from the Microsoft because it has this blue check mark. This is the one that we need because this allow us to create that integrated scripting environment for PowerShell 7. And to add this, we're simply gonna click install. And also notice that uh, they mentioned that you can actually theme this uh, PowerShell uh, extension to look like the power, uh, you know, our familiar uh, PowerShell um, scripting environment we used to have with the previous ISC. And in here it says, um, get started with PowerShell, choose the version of PowerShell you want to use. So here's the options we have, and we will be using uh, the PowerShell 7. So we can do that. And we're gonna click on install PowerShell 7. If you don't have the PowerShell 7 already installed, that's what you do. You're gonna go and click on installing uh, for PowerShell 7. And that's how you can go ahead and pow install PowerShell here. So you can do that, but you don't have to if you already have the uh, PowerShell 7. Uh, so we can actually check that. Uh, so let's, let's go in here. So right here, if I now type dollar sign ps version table dot ps version press enter it shows the version number seven so in other words this one does have support for powershell version number seven but if you don't have the windows powershell 7 installed already i already have a tutorial posted on my youtube channel you can go ahead and check it out and uh, you know, uh, once you have everything, uh, you know, PowerShell 7 install, this is pretty much done. But if you didn't have PowerShell install, you can click on this button and follow through the process of uh, installation uh, uh, through there as well. So this is done now. Uh, so I'm gonna go down here, mark done. And we have PowerShell 7 installed. So let's go ahead and create a PowerShell file. To do that, I will click on the new file right here. And I'm gonna say test.ps1. PS1 is the type of uh, PowerShell uh, extension that we use. So the, the for extensions for PowerShell files is .ps1. And I will go over that in the future videos as well. And I'm gonna select create new file right here or press enter, it'll create a new file. And it's gonna ask you, where do you want to create this new file? So you can put it anywhere you like. I'm gonna put it in documents um, and I put it as uh, PS uh, scripts. You can put it anywhere you like. Create file and we have a file called test.ps1. And we can check if whether this is a PowerShell file uh, by entering some PowerShell commands. Uh, like for example, let's type our get date. And if I run in here, that command, see, it will give us the date right now. So that basically proves that this is working as it should be. This is Visual Studio Code with the PowerShell 7 extension. So it does the same thing as a PowerShell scripting environment we are familiar with, but with much more flexibility. And I will go over how commandlets such as get date, which is a verb noun commandlet, works and how to navigate and work with Visual Studio Code when you are scripting in PowerShell on my future tutorials. So please make sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. Until our next PowerShell tutorial, thank you so much and have a nice day.